Hey guys, as there are now multiple ways of running Stable Diffusion XL Turbo on your own machine, I want to show you three methods that can be installed with just a few clicks. All of them are a bit different and have their strengths and weaknesses, but they do have one thing in common and that is being crazy fast. First, we will look at how to install and use Diffuso's SDXL Turbo with its own web UI. Then we install a SDXL Turbo LoRa and use it in Comfy UI before we switch to using the actual SDXL Turbo checkpoint also in Comfy UI. What you will need is about 15 gigabytes of free disk space. And even though some of this might work on AMD graphics cards or other operating systems, I haven't tested it myself and recommend using Windows and an NVIDIA GPU. You also need to have Pinocchio and Comfy UI installed already, but if you need help installing them, then check out this video where I will walk you through the process. In Pinocchio, we go to the Discovery tab and locate Diffuse's SDXL and click on it. Then click on Download, then again on Download, and then click on Install. When it's finished, we click on Done and launch the program. This should then open your web browser, and as soon as you start typing in this field, you will see that the images get generated automatically and in real time. You only have limited options though. Down here, you can adjust the strength of your prompt as well as the number of steps. The steps are set to two, which might seem very low to you as in Sable Diffusion. Usually the steps are set to about 20. However, the turbo models are trained to run with a lower number of steps. So leaving it at two is absolutely fine. The seed slider is quite useful here as it allows you to quickly go through the variations of your prompt. Additionally, and similar to image to image, you can also drop images into the tool and play around with prompt and settings. But unlike previously, you can now do it in real time. The downside of this tool is that your pictures are not saved automatically. So whenever you generate an image that you like, make sure to click on this icon to save it manually. Next, we will install the SDXL LoRa, and to do so, we head to the website which you will find in the video description. First, we will download the actual model and put it under models slash LoRa's in your comfy UI photo. Then on the same website, we scroll down and download the workflow, which you can extract to wherever you like. And then we load it into comfy UI. Here's the note where you can enter your prompt. And what's great about this method is that it works with any SDXL checkpoint. You don't have to change anything in the sampler settings unless you feel like experimenting. And in this node, you can change the resolution if you want to. A common error when running a prompt is the one you see right here. It basically tells us that the name of the LoRa which is set in the workflow does not match the name of our LoRa. So we go to the LoRa node and make sure that by clicking on the arrows, we select the LoRa that we downloaded. Make sure to hit refresh if you cannot see your model. You can then queue the prompt again and see if it works now. And if it does, then you can enable auto queue under extra options here. Then once you click on queue prompt, Comfy will start constantly generating images, which means you not only get an image while you are typing your prompt, but it will also keep generating images afterwards. To stop producing images, you need to disable auto queue. And you will find all the images that were generated in the regular output folder of your Comfy UI. Now let's install the SDXL Turbo Checkpoint and we can do that straight from within Pinocchio. You will find the option right here. By the way, here you can also check for an update if you want to. You can launch the tool now, but to get the workflow, we need to open this link from the video description. As you may know, the workflows in Comfy UI can be saved in images, and we need to download this image by first left-clicking on it, and then we click on Download Raw File. And from whatever location you saved the image to, just drag and drop it into Comfy UI to load the workflow. This is a new node, especially for SD Turbo. It is set to one step by default, and you can just leave it as it is. Again, you need to make sure that the right checkpoint is selected or you will get an arrow message. 
You can then test and see if everything is working by clicking on Q prompt. And since it works, we can now turn on the real time generation, which just like with the LoRa, we enable it by clicking on auto Q under the extra options. The difference to the workflow with the LoRa is that it only generates new images when you change the prompt or the settings. As you can see, it is crazy fast. It almost generates a new image for every letter typed. And you will find all generated images in the temp folder of your Comfy UI. To summarize the video, Diffuses XL is clearly the tool that is easiest to use, but you cannot customize it. The best thing about the LoRa is that you can use it with any SDXL checkpoint, and the SDXL Turbo checkpoint felt like it's the fastest out of these three, and like anything in Comfy UI, is highly customizable. In case you are wondering which kind of hardware I am using, then you can watch this video or find the most relevant hardware components in the video descriptions. I want to thank a couple of people directly involved with making the tools you just saw, but I also want to thank every one of you who has subscribed to the channel, and a special thanks to everyone who's watching this video right now. Please let me know if you want to dive deeper into anything in the video or any other topics. If you learned something new, please like and share the video, and I'll see you next time.